Tell other children to open up their Bibles. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. This has something to do with repentance in Acts 2.38. I'm going to connect that. Uh, what, I, what I call as Berean repentance. So Ephesians chapter 1. Tell your children to open up their Bibles. 1.13. So, look at it. Tell your children to mark it down. There's no English. When you heard the God word of truth, you see that? The word of truth. Mark it down. The gospel of your salvation. In whom, after that ye believe, ye were sealed. Ye were sealed. In whom ye also trusted, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. This seal, translated in the church ages as seven seals. The seal of the Holy Ghost begins after you trusted the word of truth. After you believe. This is believed by faith. Revelated faith. You don't just have any kind of faith. So, and this is related to your redemption, verse 14, which is the earnest. You know what earnest money is? It's a down payment. There was a token. There was a down payment. You received that down payment. And how? In verse 13, the earnest of the Spirit it's a down payment after you trust it. There is a counterpart action on your side. Amen. On your part. Amen. Uh, Protestants use justification to say, I've been bought with a price. It's over. It's not over. God bought you with a price, the price of His Son. And after He bought you with the price of His Son, you owe your debt to Him. Because people today live as though they don't owe any debt at all. And how are you going to pay the debt? There are many aspects of that debt. But the main aspect of that debt, the main capital, the main principle, is being very into the Word. Trusting His Word, believing His Word, there is a counterpart action for that. So, then, redemption Verse 14, until the redemption of the first case possession. That's your body. So there must first be the redemption of your soul, of your spirit. And this is the faith. And let's talk about this kind of faith. This is not just any spoon feeding faith. Just heard from one group of persons. You join a local church and you have their, your loyalty there. It's over. You yourself has to be active in that faith. And how do you activate your faith to that word? Let's go to Acts 17, verse 11. Some of you are familiar with this verse. For others, tell your children to open up. Look at your side. Please open up. Acts 17, 11. Please bear with me. Here's the opening up. In Acts 17, 11, they said, they search the scriptures daily, whether those things were a soul. Please deconize your children. Now, searching the scriptures, whether those things were a soul, is also commanded by the prophet. Do not ever think, well, just get a spoof it up or, and forget about it. No. You should, when you search, the scriptures, let me say, you do not just listen to your own favorite pastor. Amen. You get the picture? I'm only going to listen to my own group, to my own pastor. I'm going to ignore others because they're supposedly wrong. Or that's not important. If your faith is to be active, is Paul the apostle, their own pastor? No. He was a visitor in that church. It's not in the church, it was a synagogue. They listened to that visitor. 
They search the scriptures whether those things are so. That was the instruction of Christ. John chapter 5 verse 39. Just write this down. Search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life. A few verses. Verse Acts to 38. Let's open up Acts to 38. Did you know repentance in Acts to 38 is connected to Acts 17? Uh, do not close Acts 17. Open your Acts 17, verse 30. Young people, open it up. Brother Ramra, Brother Joseph, open it up. Parents, tell them to open it up. Underline repent in Acts 17, 13. What kind of repentance is that? The times of this ignorance, God wake up, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Repent from what? Ignorance. Ignorance from what? From God's word. Amen. Acts 2, 38. How do you connect that? Here. In Acts 2, 38, you memorize that? What, where did it come from? Acts 2, 37. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Repent. Why did the people ask? What should we do? Because Peter said in Acts 2, 36. Let's read Acts 2, 36. Let, are you open? Acts 2, 36. Acts 2, 36. Let all the house of Israel know assuredly. You should know. If you didn't know, you are ignorant. Okay? So, there must be a redemption in your soul, in your spirit, by being very to the word. And, the star messenger of this age, we should apply the same thing. The prophet said, in every age that takes place, that's what, what was lost in the denomination. They claimed to have the word, but they didn't, know, they didn't have that kind of faith to be that word. When the preacher comes around and says something from the Bible, their denomination lay inclined not to listen to him. He's not from our denomination. He's not from our membership. Okay, thank you. So, so that's 